So we have a repeating group here and we do have functionality to delete and edit all these databases here. Uh, as we as you can see we can delete this customer here and we can edit its name or all the other fields. Let's say RAM and we can update it. The database is updated. So here in our bubble application, we already have a um, repeating group which is displaying list of customers from our database. I have already made a video on how to create a repeating group and display uh, display the data from our database. So if you don't know how to do it, I'll leave the video. I'll leave the link to video in the description. You can watch it. And we also have a functionality to add a new customer from a pop-up and I also have a ma video made for that. I'll leave the link to video in the description. So today we, what we are trying to do here is we wanted to have a, a bunch of functionality like deleting this customer and editing its details. So in this video, I'll be covering two things. One is delete option, another is edit option. So let's dive into our bubble editor and i want to start with delete functionality to do that uh, i'll have a simple workflow so i'll have a um, i'll have a icon here and trash let's edit the styling and let's make it red so this is the delete icon so what i want to do here is once once we click on this delete icon, I want this database to be deleted. So let's do the workflow with this. Start workflow, data, delete thing, to delete parent groups customers, done. So this is the workflow to delete the customer. So if we test this, video, test this workflow here, uh, data should, database should be deleted now. So let's try to delete Sam. Uh, let's do it. So this is deleted. So how this is how the delete this is how the delete functionality works. Now, uh, now let's make a functionality to add the I mean added the mm, customer details. I'll move it a little bit here, and then uh, to edit the. Mm, customer I'll have another icon here and which is edit we can have this one here and let's make it a bit bigger and let's align it and let's give a color of um, maybe green yeah so so once once user clicks here what we want to do is we want to show a pop-up where the information is asked and they can enter the new detail and detail is updated to our database. So to do that, uh, I want to use pop-up here. We already have a pop-up to enter the new customer details. We can simply copy it and use this pop-up. Mm, copy, copy this and we can always paste here and we want to name this pop-up pop-up edit okay so now let's uh, let's run a workflow when customers clicks here or user clicks here we want to show the pop-up so to do that first we need to pass the value of this repeating group or this row particularly so to do that, what we can do is um, we can go to um, workflow and then we can go to um, display data and element pop up edit data to display parents groups customers pop up edit. Okay. All right. And then once we pass the value, then we want to show the pop-up to do that go to element action and then show and then pop up edit okay so now it should work now let's try it so we have a button here or let's say icon once clicked 
uh, we are getting a pop-up where we can enter the values. So if we, if we see in debug mode, let's see this, and I can click display data in pop-up edit, next. Uh, parents groups customer is passing the value and it is showing the pop-up now, yeah. So uh, pop-up is worth working perfectly and it is asking for the customer's new detail. Uh, we will change the text here with edit, edit customer. Uh, and what I see here is it's a little bit inconvenient because as we are editing the user details, uh, and I believe these fields should populate the existing uh, data that we have. So to do that, let's jump back to our um, pop-up. And first of all, let's edit this, um, edit customer. And then as, as you can see, uh, as we pass the value of customer, so type of content is already customer. And uh, as this is in group, we have also have to select customer here and parent groups customer. So, um, yeah, that's all. So, and in this uh, input field, in the initial content, we can insert data dynamically and parent groups customers full name. Let's do the same with all the all the all the things here so i have done the same thing with all the input fields here and when it comes to uh, profile picture uh, what we can do is we can insert the link dynamically so insert dynamic dynamic data and parent groups customer profile picture so this is now we we, we have done with the mm, this pop-up thing so let's check this, uh, how, how it works. So let's try to edit this. And as you can see, the mm, data is already populated here. Full name, company name, email address, phone number, city, and also image is already here. And so this is working perfectly. And now one more thing we need is we need to run a workflow when somebody clicks submit or we will rename it to update uh, then we need to run a workflow where mm, all these data things are updated into our data sets so let's back to our bubble editor and first of all let's rename it with mm, update so we need to remember the name name of each field so i'm saying input name update and input type company update update and this is also update update and and the last profile update okay so now let's run the workflow when somebody clicks here let's start a workflow and which will um, make changes to a thing and things to change here is parent groups customer and we need to have fields address and company and then email and we have full name and then we have phone number and then we have profile picture okay so uh, we need to map these fields with our input fields so we have update this is address so input fill company phone cities updates value and company update uh, company updates value and update input time email updates value full name update mm, okay so name update here yeah, value and phone number update mm, phone numbers value and profile picture update file uploader upload profile picture updates value so yeah so we have successfully mapped all our fields 
so now our application should work perfectly let's try it so um, let's try to update um, save okay so the data is already populated here let's try to rename with um, uh, okay and company name apple name is funny right <laughs> okay the email is okay and let's try to update profile picture i do have this profile picture here and then click update so this is updated uh, the pop-up is not closed because we do not have any workflow to close it so let's see you can see um, joe here apple microsoft and profile picture is also changed and i think we missing a workflow to close the um, pop up so make changes to um, customer and then element action and then hide pop up edit pop up edit this will this will hide the pop up so let's try to update this thing let's try to in case of john let's try right ram okay and update ram so it is updated so this is how it works